All right, listen up. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown for emotes on Twitch. So, if you would like custom emotes for your Twitch stream, there are three main third-party services you can use. Ones that people uh, are all familiar with are things like Frankerface Z. You can also use Better Twitch TV or BTTV. And there's also 7TV, which not as many people know about. So these are all three uh, Chrome extensions or Firefox extensions that you can install, which will give you access to more custom emotes uh, that you can use in your stream. And everybody that has these plugins installed or these extensions installed will be able to see those emotes. So this is how my viewers are able to watch the entire B movie emote. Uh, sorry, they can watch the entire Shrek movie as a Twitch emote. So these are all coming from a third party service. This one is coming from 7TV. So you can go ahead and install all three of these, um, these extensions. But my recommendation, my personal recommendation is to only install Franker Face Z and just ignore better uh, Twitch TV and 7 TV. Because what you can do with Franker Face Z is if you install just that Twitch extension, you can then go into your settings, click on uh, non mod settings, then go to Franker Face Z control center. Okay. And in here, if it will load up, hold on, let me let me open it up on my actual Twitch page. So again, go go over to uh where is it at? Settings. God damn it. Non mod settings, mod settings. Where's it at? No, wait, non what what am I doing? Yeah, Franker Face Z control center. And then your settings will open up here. Then you can go over to add-ons and you can add uh, all these different extensions for Franker Face Z. And two of them are 7TV and Better Twitch TV. So basically, if you have the Franker Face Z extension, you can get access to all the other emotes from the other platforms without having to install their extension. So yeah, you only need the one uh, extension for this. Uh, and you can just go ahead and enable that. And there's other stuff here you can enable too. Uh, people like the pronouns one. Uh, so you can add that too. But if you add that, uh, Twitch chat will have way more uh, emotes that you guys can use. So if we open up chat, where's chat? Do some examples for me, guys. Show some examples. Shrek movie. And put the Shrek movie. Um, and whatever this one is, I don't know what this is. What is this? All for child's, yeah, what, you know, you get the point. Uh, and if you want to add your own custom emotes, once you have this extension installed, then all you have to do is you can go to the website at any one of those three websites. We're going to use, uh, seven TV. You just go to the website and then you just log in with your Twitch account. And then you can start uploading more emotes. And each of the three services have uh, their own limits for how many custom emotes you can have. 7TV allows you to have like a thousand Twitch emotes or something. I, I have access to a thousand custom Twitch emotes, um, which is nice. And somehow I filled all of them up. Thanks, mods. Uh, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, you can also use Franker Phase Z uh, and upload more there if you run out. And same with BTTV. And that's it. That's that's how you get custom emotes on your stream. Oh, and by the way, if you're on Android, I should mention, again, I don't have an iPhone. I only have an iPad and I haven't researched it yet. But if you have an Android phone, you can install a uh, third-party Twitch thingy uh, called BTTV. Okay, so this icon here is uh, BTTV. It's basically a fork of like the native Twitch app, but it adds support for all of those custom emotes. So um, it works exactly the same as a regular Twitch app. It just allows you to use custom emotes on your phone um, when you're like not away from your computer. So if you wanna get this app, 
you have to sideload it. It's not like on the uh, Google Play Store or anything. Uh, you have to search here, BTTV dash Android. There should be a GitHub page and it shows you where you can like install this and set this up. So uh, yeah, it has some other nice features here too, uh, like an auto claim bonus channel points thingy. So you can claim channel points without having to press anything. So yeah, a lot of neat stuff there. That's that's my full guide to custom emotes on Twitch. I'm going to make that a video now. Give me money and stuff and all of the cool things like Patreon money. Okay, thank you.